In addition, the highly publicized defamation case between Johnny Depp and Amber Heard has taken an unexpected turn. Lori Allison Depp, Johnny's first wife, recently spoke candidly on the Popcorn Planet podcast about her feelings towards Heard. Despite being divorced, Allison Depp maintains a friendly relationship with her ex-husband and has shown immense support for him during the trial. Furthermore, she expressed her disbelief at how Heard could treat Depp so poorly, even stating she would take legal action against her if possible. Moreover, her sentiments are seemingly shared by Depp's other former partners who have also come forward to defend him. With that, a new Channel 4 documentary series will provide an in-depth look into the high-profile legal dispute, blending various sources to examine key moments from the trial. Additionally, Depp's new film, Jean Dubéry, is set to premiere at the prestigious 2023 Cannes Film Festival, potentially playing a crucial role in shaping his future career. Will this film mark a turning point for the actor? And what could it mean for the ongoing legal battle with Amber Heard? Additionally, it will be fascinating to see whether this movie becomes available in America. Stay tuned for more on this intriguing story. The highly publicized defamation case between Johnny Depp and Amber Heard captured the attention of millions of people. Recently, Depp's first wife, Lori Allison Depp, has come forward with her own thoughts on Heard. It's evident that Allison Depp is not fond of Heard. The 65-year-old makeup artist who retained her married surname after their divorce shared her opinions on the Popcorn Planet Pop Culture podcast. During the interview, Allison Depp showed immense respect for Depp and repeatedly mentioned that she cried for him during the defamation trial. She revealed that she did not speak out earlier to honor his desire for privacy. I couldn't help but break down a few times because I felt really bad for him, she stated on the podcast. He values his privacy a lot, which is why I don't usually give interviews, but I think it was important for him to speak out and defend himself publicly. Despite being divorced, Allison Depp and Depp still maintain a friendly relationship and keep in touch through mutual friends, though they don't see each other frequently. Allison stayed informed about the trial through her friend Isaac Baruch. Isaac told me not to worry, that they would win, she said in the podcast. Every time I hung up the phone after talking to him, I would walk around crying because I was so scared for Johnny. It just broke my heart to see someone treat him that way. When it came to talking about Amber Heard, Allison Depp was quite candid. If there were legal actions I could take against her, I would do so without hesitation, she stated. I really would. Allison referred to Heard as horrific and expressed her disbelief at how Heard could treat Depp in that way. Allison Depp and Depp were married for a brief period of only two years. They met before Depp became famous, and even though their relationship ended due to irreconcilable differences, Allison still holds Depp in high regard. I love him deeply, and I can't help but smile when I think about him and our past together, she said. I want the best for him. Can I say negative things about him? Sure, I could say negative things about anyone, but there's no point in doing so. He makes mistakes like everyone else. This sentiment is seemingly shared by Depp's other former partners, including Kate Moss and Winona Ryder. None of Depp's former partners have come forward to defend Heard as strongly as they have. This speaks volumes. Lori met Heard at a party and initially thought she seemed very nice and stunningly beautiful. According to Lori, what's not to like? They attended social events together and Lori described Heard as charming. However, over time, Lori began to realize that things were not as they appeared on the surface. I noticed that Johnny wasn't always happy, although I didn't want to make assumptions because I didn't get to see him much, she said. Lori also started to hear concerning stories about Heard, which made her feel very sad for Depp. She repeated her earlier statement that she would like to take legal action against Heard, but emphasized that she was not making any threats and would never break the law. Now let's move on to a highly intriguing topic that has been making the rounds recently. A three-part Channel 4 documentary will delve into the high-profile legal dispute between Johnny Depp and Amber Heard. The British broadcaster recently announced a lineup of new programs, including Depp v. Heard, working title which will provide the first comprehensive examination of the defamation trial from last year in which Depp emerged victorious. The documentary series is produced by Bitacon 365, a label under the Full Well 73 banner, founded by Blowing LA producer Sheldon Lazarus and Empress Films, the company behind the Netflix documentary, The Mystery of Marilyn Monroe, The Unheard Tapes. Emma Cooper, who received a BAFTA nomination for The Mystery of Marilyn Monroe, will serve as the director. The documentary series blends footage from the courtroom, news sources, pre-existing interviews, and user-generated content to examine key moments from the trial. Other programs included in Channel 4's lineup are Partygate, The True Story, from Halcyon's Heart Films, which will dramatize the national controversy surrounding lockdown regulations. The docudrama will contrast the festivities at 10 Downing Street with the difficult realities of COVID restrictions experienced elsewhere in the country. 
Additionally, Davina McCall will examine the often unmentioned side effects of hormonal contraceptives in Fine Stripes' documentary, The Pill, and Brooke Lapping will delve into the controversial topic of gender identity in the documentary, Gender Wars. Spun Gold will reveal the mysteries of the female orgasm in Secrets of the Female Orgasm, and comedian Rosie Jones, who has cerebral palsy, will challenge commonly held beliefs about disabilities in Rosie Jones, Do I Retard? produced by 2-4. Now let's return to the most significant issue of recent times, Johnny Depp's new film, which is rumored to play a crucial role in shaping his future career. Not all countries have a confirmed release date for Jean Duberry, but it is set to be released in France and Switzerland on the same day as its premiere at the 2023 Cannes Film Festival. The film's release in the Netherlands and Spain has also been confirmed for September 14th and September 29th, respectively. It is likely that the film's release in other European countries will fall somewhere between those dates, depending on which distributors the production companies collaborate with. The success of the film at the 2023 Cannes Film Festival may also play a role, so there could be a competitive market for distribution rights if the film is well received. Given the positive indication that the film is opening at the Cannes Film Festival, it is likely that the producers will target a release date during awards season in the United States, which typically takes place in the fourth quarter of the year. This is because production companies often aim to release films with awards potential as close to events such as the Golden Globes and the Academy Awards as possible. With Hollywood's fondness for comeback stories, it is probable that Jean Duberry will be released in the United States between October and December 2023, especially if it meets the high expectations surrounding it. Jean Duberry still needs a distributor in the United States, and negotiations are likely to take place after its premiere at the 2023 Cannes Film Festival. However, there is also a chance that the film will bypass theaters and go straight to a streaming platform, such as Netflix. The film has already been confirmed for release on Netflix in France 15 months after its theatrical release. However, the United States will not have to wait that long, as the 15-month gap is due to French regulations that prohibit movies from being released on streaming services within 15 months of their theatrical release. If Jean Duberry does end up on Netflix in the United States, it is likely to be released in the winter of 2023.